Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Mark Brutalier Show, where we show Johns and sometimes drip. Drip or drown, baby. Drip. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It is I, Mark, Mark Brutalier, back with another video. Within a week, as promised. Today, we're going to be talking about what I'll be wearing this summer. Obviously, it's getting super hot. I live in Atlanta, so it's super hot and humid. It's just really easy to have a boring outfit, so I'm going to try to give you some ways, give you some ideas to elevate your otherwise boring outfit. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, hi, welcome, subscribe. If you're returning, thanks, appreciate it. But let's go ahead and get into the video. So I'm going to break it down into like five-ish categories and talk about some of the stuff in my personal wardrobe, maybe some suggestions from like online or things that you can go out and thrift. We're just gonna, you know, have fun and that's gonna be it. First and foremost, I wanna talk about texture. I feel like texture is super important, specifically like tops. So like texture tops, you can see that I'm wearing a little mesh tee right now. What I like about this is that, like I said, you're wearing less clothing. There's less points of interest in your outfit. I feel like texture is an easy thing that you can sort of play on. This one is a vintage Belgian military undershirt. I know the brand LL Bean has a bunch of vintage ones as well, but you could probably find something just like this on eBay. I also know the brand Scott Frazier Collection. They have like sort of a textured tank that's really cool. I also got a couple tank tops from the brand Unveined Studios. They have sort of a ribbing to them, but then they also have these like exposed seams that I think are really cool. They're gonna be a little bit more fitted. I do think wearing something more fitted on top also is kind of a nice look for summer, especially if you're gonna be wearing something baggier on bottom or if you're gonna be throwing over like some light layers like what I have here. On top as well, you can see I'm wearing this light, this light colored, lightweight button up. And I feel like that's something you can do as well because you can still layer in the summer. Obviously it's gonna depend how into the fashion you really are because some people, they just wanna be comfortable. And if that's you, that's totally fine. Wear a tank top, wear shorts, wear some sneakers, you're done. But if you're trying to sort of like elevate your outfits, I feel like throwing on a light layer is not a bad idea. Whether it's just a super light cotton, whether it's a linen, whether it's a mesh, I actually have like this mesh button up from the brand Brut. Brute, based out of Paris, I believe. I have one on the way from them, which I'll pop up on the screen. And it's like just like a looser gauge mesh. There's definitely options out there. Other brands that I like for button ups is gonna be like Carew Research. This one is from the brand Older Brother. But also, you can just go thrift. You can go on eBay. You can search some vintage ones. Look up vintage Gabardine shirts. I have like sort of this silky looking one. Um, it's not made of silk, it's made of something else, but you get the vibe. It's easy to find light layers and yeah. I also have a French blue chore jacket. Jacket, I say. It's it's literally basically a shirt. So point being is there are options. You just gotta go out, look for them, and really like hone in on the materials, I guess. Let's talk about bottoms now. Obviously, shorts, everyone knows that that's like the summer thing. But what if you're not really that into shorts? I know for me, I'm really not. Right now I'm actually wearing shorts, which is sort of a sort of an unusual occurrence for me. I'm wearing these jeans that I actually cut off into shorts. It's a pair of like vintage Levi's. I like that they're kind of a cream color. That's definitely gonna be something to look out for. Just lighter tones in general, whether it's tops, bottoms, everything in between. Undies, you just wanna get some lighter colors cause you know, <coughs> the sun won't be, won't be hitting you as hard. If you wanna wear jorts, wear jorts. You can either A, go buy some jeans from the thrift store. You can cut them off yourself. Just make sure you're kind of measuring, you know, or just, steps at a time don't just the whole entire thing you can also just go get them professionally hemmed if you don't want that raw edge some people like it some people don't i don't mind it i also have a pair of jorts from the brand older brother actually i also have like some levi's orange tab jorts that were actually jorts they weren't cutoffs i'll throw up some other options for jorts right now so yeah, shorts, that's an option. You can also go for shorts. I'm, like I'm saying, like I'm really not that, that into shorts. If I do wear shorts, I'm probably gonna wear something more on the tactical side, sort of like a cool cargo short, have some sort of like technical fabric, nylon, something of the sort. It's also gonna be good for like hiking if you're someone that likes to go outside and do like actual activities. I really like the Gramichi shorts. I do have a pair of those. Good for hiking, good for, I play basketball in them. But if you're not into shorts, I don't wanna keep talking about shorts. For one, I think like a looser fit, light wash denim is not a bad idea. Some people are gonna be so anti-denim because it is a little bit thicker of a material, but 
I don't think it's the worst. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you get like a light wash. I have one pair from the brand Dunst. They're going to be a lot more of like a wider silhouette. So they're not going to be like super close to your legs getting all sweaty and shit. But then I also have a pair from Bare Knuckles. They're like a flared light wash. And not only do they have a beautiful wash on them, but I love the sort of subtle flare going on. I love the high waist. And again, they're easy to wear. They get a little sweaty, I'm not gonna lie. They're close to your thighs and all that. It's fashion. If you're if you're trying to put on a fit in the summertime, sometimes you just gotta you just gotta get some sweaty thighs, you know? Other options though, again, look for your linens, look for your organic cottons, things like that. Story MFG has a lot of options that I feel like would be really good for spring summer that are gonna be a little less a little more loose in like lighter colors, lighter fabrics, all of that. There's options out there is what I'm it's what I'm getting at. And perhaps I'll find some more options and put them up on the screen right now. <laughs> All right, I think I'm three categories in right now. I, it might be, we might do six categories. We're gonna do five with a bonus. How about that? That's, that sounds fun, right? So for the fourth category, let's talk about footwear for a little bit. I know a lot of people are wearing the boots with the shorts. That's like this trend thing that's going on. I tried to do it and I don't really think that I like it very much. I like it on other people sometimes, but I just feel like there's so much room for error it's just really easy for it to look not good so that's where i stand on that but i do want to talk about sneakers real quick personally i think it's kind of cool to get something that's sort of out there you can go with your basic sneakers i'm currently wearing the marcella replicas which is literally the most basic sneaker you could possibly get ever but i also think it's cool to get something sort of exaggerated whether that be like a square toe sort of sort of thing i know like the martin rose nikes like those are Kind of for example that's something that's out there or you can even go with color i have my bbs solomons that are like bright pink i feel like that's kind of a cool option especially like like i said if you're wearing all black and white or all black or whatever the case may be throw on some color you know don't be afraid of it it's not gonna hurt you maybe it will i don't know but yeah that's an option i think other good options for spring summer loafers mules go get yourself some square toe loafers go get yourself a nice cozy mule i made an entire video about mules that's up on my instagram as well as my tiktok at mark underscore brutalier so you can go look at that but i'll also I'll, I'll throw some up on the screen just for you right now bottom line there are tons of options for footwear have fun with it and more times than not you can wear the stuff year round anyways there's not too many shoes in my opinion that are like summer only or winter only unless it's like shearling lined or you know yeah pretty much that so there's there's that fifth category accessories accessories and jewelry you can see what i'm working with right now i've got some jewelry on my hand i've got a watch i've got a bracelet i've got the denim ring from the collaboration i did with eschaton i have my other ring on this side i've got my little necklace tucked in could be wearing a very bland outfit spice it up with some jewelry and accessories and then you got yourself something a little bit more interesting. Other thing that you can do, you can throw in like a scarf, like a silk scarf. I got two, again, from the brand Unbanned Studios. I've yet to really play around with them, but I need to because, again, it brings some interest to your dull fit. I mean, if your head is not ginormous like mine is, you could go for a hat. I'm not really going to give you hat recommendations because, like I said, my head is ginormous. I don't have an opinion. What else? Little bags. I think little bags are definitely a good idea. I wear my little man purses all the time. Easy way to spice up an outfit. Maybe you go for a color pop. Maybe you don't. Maybe you go for a fun shape. You can go thrift yourself a leather bag. You can go get yourself one from a fancy little brand. It really doesn't matter. And lastly, when it comes to accessories, let's talk about sunglasses real quick. I have my pair from Brain Dead that I wear all the time. I also have a pair from Tom Ford. I have some ones from the brand Sune. There's tons of different sunglasses that you can go out and buy. Get yourself something spicy, get yourself something out there. There's plenty of good eyewear brands out there. Moscot is a good one. If you wanna go cheaper, go Warby Parker. That's what my glasses are. Easy, easy done. I'll throw up some other funky little options on the screen right now.
All right, and that's five things. We're gonna do a quick bonus one, and the bonus one is going to be fragrance, which obviously is not something that you wear in terms of your outfit, but I do think it sort of spices up your fit. Personally, I like to switch up my fragrance with my outfit. I also like to switch up my fragrance when it comes to seasonality. So it's getting hot outside, it's getting warmer. I usually go with a lighter fragrance, maybe something a little bit more earthy, a little more herbally citrusy i have my Le labo matcha that i was not wearing for like months and months and months and now i'm wearing it a lot again i also have one from the brand aesop that's a little bit more on that herbally side as well as one from the brand photogenics that is also kind of on the herbally side i feel like more times than not if you're wearing like a really dark strong fragrance you're not going to really want to wear it in the spring summer it just doesn't really feel right but it is what it is do what you want bye <laughs>